Hello, and thank you again for joining us here for PPI 365's Microsoft Dynamics Training Demo Series. My name is Kelsey Chambers, and today we will be going over filtering and adding activities within an entity from the Sales Hub. As always, when beginning in Dynamics, we'll go ahead and hit the drop-down arrow next to Dynamics 365 and select Sales Hub from our My Apps section. Once the Sales Hub opens, you'll notice your entities that you can select from on the side. We're going to go ahead and work with a contact today. So once I'm in this view, I'm going to select the contact that we're going to work in, and you'll notice that there's a timeline in the middle. This is very similar to what you're going to see in most contacts um, and accounts and leads, opportunities, as well as other entities. So on the timeline, if you hit the plus sign, this is how you're going to add an activity. So let's go ahead and add a phone call into this account. and we'll call it regarding product tests. And we'll leave all the rest of the information. One thing to note too is that you can also add multiple records or recipients for the call. And they can cross the barriers between a contact and an account. We'll go ahead and hit save. The timeline will refresh and you'll see that this now shows on the timeline. Let's go ahead and add another activity. This time let's add an email. Notice that when we do the email, it doesn't open in the right-hand data pane, but rather opens in a new window and navigates you away from the contact. We'll go ahead and enter our information in here. And we'll go ahead and put in the record. Subject is regarding phone call for product testing. Thank you for joining us on our product test call today. We will be back with you shortly for a timeline. Once we hit the send button, it will navigate us back to the record that we were on before. Oh, looks like I selected the wrong Kelsey. <laughs> We need to select a contact. Okay, now we can hit the send. And then here it comes on the timeline again, but notice now it's saying that there are two new activities. Because I had been navigated away and back in it to it again, you can see that this is filtering it if you select. Add the filter to only show you the most recent activities. To remove this, go ahead and select the X. Let's add one more activity before we get further into filtering. This time, let's add a task. For the tasks, the subject will be follow-up with client regarding product testing. Okay, and we'll go ahead and save and close. Again, the timeline is going to refresh and immediately update and show that information. Because I have not navigated away from the screen again, it didn't give me the error like it did, or not the error, but the notification, like it did when we created the email. Now, if you click the three ellipses or the more commands button on the top of the timeline record, you'll notice that there's an open filter pane. This is one of the newer features that you'll see within Sales Hub. Rather than filtering with an advanced find um, or other type of filtering options, you'll notice that it actually gives you the ability to go ahead and filter by record type. For instance, by, it's telling you there are five activities and here's how you can filter. Then you can further filter down by active activities or closed activities, and you can show more filters and even select the specific activity that you're looking for, such as email. And then you can also filter down farther in regards to a date range. So for instance, let's do the emails generated today. And you'll see that your results immediately show up. In order to remove the filtering, you can go back and go ahead and select the X again to close the filtering pane completely, or you can select the X next to the filter icon to clear the filter while still leaving the filtering options open. And that's how you add activities and filter within the Sales Hub. This will conclude our training demo on filtering and adding activities within an entity from the Sales Hub. Thank you again for joining us here at PPI 365 for our Microsoft Dynamics 365 training demo series. Come see us on LinkedIn for our Cloud Corner every Wednesday and check out our other training demo videos. Leave us a comment and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. 
As always, if you have any questions, please reach us at info at ppi365.com. That's info at ppi365.com. We hope you join us again soon.